This fourth example is going to look at coding entering data for a ranked response question. Now ranked response questions are quite good for getting people's judgments or opinions or preferences about a, a particular topic. If we look at this example, we're asking the participant to rank in order of importance from one to five the following features when they consider going on a holiday. So I've never been before, weather, surroundings, cost, accommodation. Now for each one of these options I have here, they're going to give a ranking for each one, which means it's a multi-response question. And we've seen in the previous video that in a multi-response question, each response becomes a new variable in our data set. So that means I'm going to make five questions or five variables from these five topics. And for each topic, um, there's five possible responses or answers, one to five most important to least important. I've just labeled two, three, and four as second, third, and fourth choice because I haven't given them a label on the questionnaire. So let's have a look at how we might lay the data out in our data set. Always got my participant ID column on the left hand side and then I have my variables as the column headings across the top. So these are my five topics. Never been, weather, surroundings, cost, and accommodation. So if I look for participant one, I'm, I need to code this data. The most important is a one, least important is a five, and two, three, and four correspond to those numbers. So I'm going to replace them with my codes. I'm going to do the same for participant 2. And then I'm going to do that for the rest of the participants. Now that I've replaced all of the responses with my numerical code, I'm ready to enter my data into SPSS. OK, let's enter the data that we just saw. I'm going to do it for the first variable, which has never been. I'm just going to call it never been. Remember, we can't have any spaces. We can use an underscore, but I'm not going to. The data type is numeric. There are no decimal places on my data, so I'm going to change that to zero. And I'm going to give a little bit more of a description. I've never been before. Now, this is categorical, which means I'm going to need value labels. So one is most important. Two is second choice. Third choice. Fourth choice. And five is least important. It's important with questions like these that you don't confuse the least important with unimportant. Just because the item is fifth in the list doesn't mean it's not of any importance. It just means that it's fifth in these options that were given. Alright, I'm not going to define any missing values. I'm just going to leave blank as missing. I'm not going to code them. So the last column that we need to change is the measure. Our variable can either be scale, ordinal, or nominal. We know this is categorical, um, so it's going to be either ordinal or nominal. And because we have a scale of importance, 1 to 5, they do have a particular rank or order. That means our variable is ordinal. So now that we've defined our variable, we can go to the data view and enter some data. So OK. Remember, we can toggle between codes and value labels. Oops. Um, using our icon up here. So if I click, I can see my numerical codes or I can see my value labels. All right, this is the fourth example. There's just one more example for open-ended questions, and that will cover pretty much all types of questionnaire questions that you may have on your survey.